Hey everyone, it's Dr. Charlotte Hodges. I am out for an afternoon walk. Margie Ruth is at cheer practice. I tried to go watch her this past week and um, she wasn't really paying attention that well. Had to run some laps. So I thought it might be best if she just go to cheer practice and while she is at cheer, then I would um, do a little walking, a little exercise and maybe make a video or two. So. What I want to talk a little bit today is about slider foods. Now, this is not a term that everybody is familiar with, especially if you are kind of outside the bariatric um, community, especially um, if you're somebody like my office manager or um, her, one of her good friends and one of my good friends, Laura. So what do I mean by slider food and how does that impact the success of your surgery and how you are losing weight and all that good stuff. So, you know, when I first started seeing patients, I would hear this term a lot and I actually had no idea. It's just like over time, I had to, um, I realized that when somebody would say, Dr. Hodges, I had to ruin why, I realized that they were referring specifically to the gastric bypass just not any surgery that was performed in a room and Y configuration, but that's another video for another day. So what exactly do I mean by slider food? And so whenever I talk about this, what I'm really talking about is any food that kind of goes down easy. And unfortunately, what we find is whenever somebody has some of these easy foods, they tend to be a bit more calorie dense and because they're easier to go down, you usually can eat more of it. And so um, this is one of the things I talk to patients about as being a potential reason for patients to regain some of their weight. One reason that patients can regain weight is if they drink their calories. And the other is if they're eating crunchy or easy to swallow foods, hence slider foods. And so what are some of these foods that can go down that really don't give you any nutritional value, but that could really wreck your success. Basically, it's almost anything that's crunchy. If it's crunchy and tastes good, that's probably gonna be a slider food. So that would be crackers, chips, pork rinds, popcorn, anything fried because it's crunchy. Let's see, what else? Crackers, tortilla chips, um, basically anything with a crunch. And what we find is if you eat something that is crunchy, regardless of whether or not you've had surgery, when you crunch it up, the little enzyme in your mouth and the lace and your saliva helps to break down that really crunchy food. And when you crunch up that real crunchy food, it goes from being like that much to like hardly anything. Kind of think of it as, you know, if you've ever cooked spinach and you put a big old handful of spinach in a pot and then you turn on the heat and then it wilts down to almost nothing, you're like, oh my God, where'd all this spinach go? Same thing with crunchy foods. And so if you eat a bunch of these crunchy foods, you're gonna be able to eat a big volume of those. And it doesn't matter if you've had surgery or not. I mean, I haven't had surgery, but I could eat a big old bucket of popcorn. And guess what? My husband, who had surgery, he had a gastric bypass nine years ago, 10 years ago. I mean, moon, many, many moons ago. Whew, this is gonna be a busy street. He has had, um, he can definitely eat a big old bucket of popcorn. And why is he able to do that? It's because popcorn is very crunchy. It is a starch. Hence, it's one of the um, foods that I would call a slider food. So the problem with slider foods is that generally you are able to eat a much bigger volume of those before you get hungry, number one. And then number two, it may not even fill you up. And number three, if those slider foods are fairly high in carbohydrate, they could also induce dumping syndrome. And dumping syndrome, we all know, is a rush of carbs. You get a, a compensatory increase in your insulin and a big drop in your glucose. And then you end up having symptoms of low blood sugar. So nausea, increased heart rate, things like that. So, um, so that's 
one of the many reasons why some of these crunchier um, slider foods are no bueno. What's another example of a slider food though? I also kind of consider slider foods almost as anything that, that we might even put on a, one of our soft diets. So pudding, applesauce, let's say you have a piece of meat or you, um, and maybe it's on a salad and you douse it with ranch dressing, you have now made this potentially healthy piece of meat now one of the dreaded slider foods. And when we say slider, we mean, I believe it gets the term because it slides right on down with no problem. Because every bariatric surgeon out there at some point has either taken too big of a bite or eaten a little bit too fast and then you kind of feel it right, kind of right there. You feel like something gets stuck. You have to walk around, put your hands above your head. None of that really helps. You just have to wait and let that food bowl as that little bit of food eventually pass and then that pain subsides. So a slider food doesn't also necessarily mean it's something that is crunchy. It could be something that's been kind of lubed up with a gravy, or a dressing. Interestingly enough, as a side note, Margie calls all dressing gravy, i.e. she loves her Caesar gravy <laughs> on her Caesar salads. So, and again, a lot of gravies, sauces, things that will help to loop things up, they can be a very um, high source of calories. And again, because they allow food to go down easily, you are at risk for having a bigger volume of those foods. And if those foods are very calorie dense, meaning really high in calorie, you're going to end up taking in too many. And so that's what the danger of having a slider food is. The danger is there's not the fact that you're having popcorn. There's nothing inherently wrong with popcorn. There's also nothing inherently wrong with having a little bit of Caesar dressing. There's nothing inherently wrong with having a couple of tortilla chips if you go to the local Mexican restaurant. What, when the problem comes in is if you end up taking in a much bigger volume and really not allowing the surgeries to do the things that they need to do. And so my kind of my warning for you guys would be watch out for slider foods. They are the devil in disguise. They taste delightful. I don't know if there's one slider food that does not taste good because it goes down so easy. However, with that being said, you need to be very mindful of taking in these slider foods because they really could wreck your success. And I promise you, there's not one thing out there that tastes as good as finally getting in to, um, a, a, you're getting closer to your goal weight and knowing that all this hard work that you've done has not been in vain. Um, you had these surgeries with the, um, you know, with the very best intentions. Let the surgeries work for you, especially if you've had a sleeve. If you've had a sleeve, sleeves work via restriction only. If you do a bunch of slider foods, you are completely short circuiting what the surgeries can do for you, and you might as well not have ever even had the surgery. So let these surgeries work for you. Try not to find a shortcut because that's how patients can short circuit how well these surgeries can work for them. So um, the next time that you're grabbing that big old bag of popcorn, maybe what you should try to grab is the 100 calorie pack of popcorn. Set yourself up for success. Or if you know that you cannot live without your chips, do not buy a big bag. Get the baked chips. But if you know you'll probably even go back for more than one or two bags of the small chips, the very best thing to do is just don't buy it at all. I would like to say that we all have will of steel and just set yourself up for success. Just don't get it. And if you have it in the house, you need to pitch it. Um, I wish that there was a magic ingredient or a secret sauce. And sometimes the secret sauce is just not having it around. So. Um, watch out for those slider foods. They can be quite tasty, but they can most certainly be detrimental to your success. Hope this helped.